और आगे बढ़ लेते हैं भारत के कई राज्यों में गवर्नर वर्सेस गवर्नर गवर्नेंस की लड़ाई और बढ़ती जा रही है ऐसा ही मामला बंगाल से भी देखने को मिल रहा है राज्यपाल सीवी आनंद बोस और ममता सरकार के बीच कई मुद्दों पर विवाद चल रहा है टाइम्स नेटवर्क की अद्रुजा के साथ एक्सक्लूसिव बातचीत में पश्चिम बंगाल के राज्यपाल ने इस बारे में खुलकर बातचीत की In an interview with the Times Network, we are being joined by Dr. C. V. Anand Bose, the Governor of West Bengal, who today happens to complete one year in his office. Uh, sir, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, first, I would like to ask you that uh, you know, since you have completed one year in your office uh, in an opposition-ruled state, and recently, if we look at India and various, several states, uh, the conflict between uh, governor and state government is happening only, especially. beat punjab or uh, kerala or tamil nadu in opposition ruled state uh, what like why do you think this is happening or any uh, specific because in west bengal also there has been certain conflict between the two offices so why do you think you know only in the opposition ruled state such uh, conflicts are taking place in all humility i'll say i am not competent to comment on what is happening in the states governed by my illustrious colleagues i would like to confine to bengal where only i have any jurisdiction uh, so sir uh, coming to bengal as you just say, said that uh, one of the major grievances of the state government of bengal has been that uh, regarding the appointment of the vice chancellors so uh, sir uh, they are con con uh, continuously saying that the vice chancellors that you are appointing is being done without consulting their office so anything regarding that to re set record straight i have not appointed any vice chancellor vice chancellors can be appointed only through the proper selection procedure laid down by the supreme court of india there should be a search com selection committee which is yet to be constituted what is now happening is what is called interim vice chancellors there is no term called interim vice chancellors in the act or rules in public parlance it is interim vice chancellors that's a tentative arrangement whereby the chancellor can authorize any competent person to discharge the functions and duties of a vice chancellor that is what is being done now that as per the state act and rules should be should be done in consultation with the government it is done in consultation with the government the government gave a list that is the existing vice chancellors to continue as chancellor i considered the government's list accepted two or three and appointed others from a separate panel based on certain norms laid down for the purpose this was challenged by the state government in the calcutta high court the calcutta high court gave a verdict that the vice chancellor is well within his authority to post the officiating vice chancellors or what they call the interim vice chancellors that is a position what is now challenged in the supreme court that relates to the provision the mode of selection of permanent vice chancellors the high, supreme court has said let the three stakeholders that is the chancellor the ugc and the state government let them submit a panel of experts to the supreme court from the panel supreme court will decide what should be the composition of the search consultation committee once that is done we will start selecting vice chancellors that is the factual position Uh, sir uh, also like you know within the tug of war that has been going on between the state government and the governor uh, i would like to ask you that do you think that somewhere the uh, students are being affected and any particular step that you have taken to ensure that you know any uh, problem they have in the administration process they can reach out first of all there is no tug of war there can be a tug of war if both sides pull in the opposite direction governor is not in the tug not in the war and 
answer anything else that you will be doing uh, in order to uh, you know ensure that the students uh, can reach out if any help is required i have my dream of bengal emerging as a national hub of education i have also given an action plan for this the interim vice chancellors as they are called now they met together and they gave me what is called a calcutta commitment that is for the reformation in the education system in the universities where specific proposals are there to ensure that the bengal universities emerge as a topmost in the country in the matter of higher education once the decision of the supreme court is received in the matter of recruitment we will implement the calcutta commitment with modifications and do everything possible to see that bengal becomes a leader of higher education in the country